Now, this delta U would change only when there is an energy exchange with the system, right? When energy is given to the system or taken out of the system by any method, okay? So there are these two ways in which we can do this energy transfer from the system. You have heat and work. Let's talk about heat first. What happens when you heat the system? The temperature of the walls of the system would increase because of which the heat will transfer from the surrounding to the system. Because of which what will happen? The system will gain energy. And if the system gains energy, then the internal energy of the system would increase. That is, delta U will be a positive quantity, right? And if we take out that burner, and if we say that the gas inside the system or our system itself is at a higher temperature than the surrounding, then what will happen? Then the heat will go from the system to the surrounding. And if that happens, then the system would lose energy, right? That is, the internal energy would come down. Remember, we are using this letter Q to represent heat. Let's talk about work now. Now, you can also increase the internal energy of a system by doing work on it. If you do work on it, that is, if you compress the system like that, okay, by bringing the piston closer and closer, then what happens? You're doing work on the system. That is, the internal energy of the system would increase. The system would gain energy, okay? And it can also happen that the system itself pushes the piston out. And if that happens, then the system is doing work on the surrounding, right? That is, it is losing its energy. The internal energy would come down. Okay, so these are the two modes of changing the internal energy of the system, heat and work. By the way, these two modes of energy exchange can happen to a system simultaneously too. That is, let's say we have a setup where we are heating the system and the system's piston also rises like that. Okay, if that happens, then what's actually happening? Because we are heating, we're giving some energy to the system, right? Some heat to the system. That is, some delta Q is transferred inside like that. And this piston of the system is going up. It means that the system is doing work on the surrounding. It means that it is giving out some energy in the form of work. That is, delta W like that. Now, if the conservation of energy is true in this case, which is true in almost all the cases, then we can say that the heat given to the system delta Q minus the work done by the system which is delta W, right? Why am I subtracting that? Because the work was done by the system. That is, that much energy was taken out of the system. Delta Q amount of energy was given to the system. So delta Q minus delta W must be the energy which got stored in the system, right? And that is what is the change in the internal energy which is equal to delta U. So what we have learned here is that these two modes of energy exchange can happen simultaneously and we can write an equation based on our simple knowledge of conservation of energy. The first law of thermodynamics is something which you already know. Okay, Let's revisit something which we just learned. If you take a system like that and if you start heating it because of which the piston of the system moves up like that, then in that case, we can say that we are providing some heat to the system, right? There's the delta Q going inside the system. And the system is doing some work on the surrounding. That is some delta W amount of work is done onto the surrounding, okay? And we wrote a simple equation saying that delta U, that is the change in the internal energy, would be equal to delta Q minus delta W, right? Where did we get this from? Yeah, of course, conservation of energy, right? And folks, that is the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is not something uh, which we have never seen before or something really mysterious. The first law of thermodynamics is just the conservation of energy. But we don't write the mathematical statement of first law like that. We usually turn it around like that and we write it as delta Q equal to delta U plus delta W, okay? which means that the heat given to a system would be utilized in changing the internal energy of the system and doing some work. Okay, so now you have learned the first law. This is it. And that's the mathematical statement. Now let's see some examples of first law. On the top of my head, I have uh, 
popcorn like when you cook popcorn what happens you put some stuff in in a in a container and then you heat it up because of which what happens is popcorns come out and if you if you keep it closed like that then what what does the system do it pushes the lid outside right what is it what's happening you have a system you're providing it heat because of which the system is doing work on the surrounding that's just the first law even in case of a steam engine right the engine works on the principle of the first law of thermodynamics where you have this heated steam which makes the engine move that is it does work on a system okay you might have seen a steam engine in a british movie or something right i know you have anyway so what we have learned here is that the first law of thermodynamics is basically the conservation of energy okay 